thank you for uh, introduction and i would like to uh, introduce you uh, my project uh, i named uh, inflammation regulator gene loss in parrots uh, which relates to uh, loss of uh, gene of one of the immune regulator and its possible physiological effect in one of the birds lineage specifically parrots so i will start uh, generally as we know uh, immune reaction must be uh, rigorously uh, regulated it is important to uh, activate and terminate the uh, immune system at the right time and for that serves uh, many kind of uh, cellular pathways many signaling molecules such as receptors uh, many receptors uh, many cytokines and uh, chemokines and uh, recently we are discovering um, processes of uh, neuroendocrine relations between uh, immunity and uh, nervous system so we know that uh, neurons can secrete uh, signaling molecules and hormones affecting uh, immune cells and also in opposite way uh, immune cell secrets molecules affecting uh, neurons uh, yeah and as i said uh, it's important to activate immunity uh, at the right time to protect against uh, parasite and uh, also uh, terminate it to prevent immunopath immunopathologies because uh, uh, immune system is capable to damage its own organism uh, so we uh, are focused uh, in uh, neuroimmune relationships and uh, uh, we may see that there may be some cross-link uh, through the endocannabinoid system which is uh, system consists of two types of uh, receptors uh, first one is CNR1 receptor uh, which is expressed in uh, neurons and uh, its function is basically to depress neural functions uh, the other one is CNR2 receptor um, which occurs on uh, immune cells and um, its function is to down regulation of inflammation and uh, down regulation of uh, expression of uh, inflammatory uh, pro-inflammatory cytokines uh, in determination of uh, inflammation uh, yeah they are both g-protein uh, coupled receptors and the ligands are uh, arachidonates uh, called endocannabinoids and yeah we choose them for the for the possible interconnection of nervous and immune system so uh, these receptors are mostly conservative uh, through the vertebrates phylogeny but uh, from the online databases we uh, notice that they are missing in some species and uh, we notice that uh, the cnr2 is missing in all uh, of the parrots so in the uh, online databases is genome of uh, kakapo and bajariger as the model parrots but we tested five more species uh, and uh, when we do uh, when we did the uh, phylogeny uh, analysis uh, you may see on the picture it's a phylogenetic tree of uh, tetrapods uh, cannabinoid receptors because uh, with no fishes because they are quite problematic because uh, of the uh, the polyploidic genome uh, we may see uh, the ancestral gene in lamprey and then it divides into cannabinoid receptor 1 in the blue part and cannabinoid receptor 2 in the uh, green part and uh, when we tested the, the, uh, the parent species uh, we, we noticed that uh, they are missing or the order the order of parrots miss, is missing in the uh, cannabinoid receptor 2 part so uh, how did we test it uh, we designed uh, an uh, avian interspecific uh, primers of cannabinoid receptor 2 gene and we did uh, the PCR amplification of GD GDNA with uh, no results then we also uh, did the search in trans transcriptomic sequences obtained uh, from 
from the parrots uh, and also with no results. So uh, this gene loss is uh, probably the effect of massive chromosomal rearrangements which happen during parrot's evolution and which probably caused this gene loss. Uh, this event happened at least two times independently because if we uh, compare the uh, genome or, or gene orders of the, of the genes uh, nearby the locus of CNR2 in, in uh, human or zebra finch or chicken, uh, we see similar uh, patterns, but in in the parrots, uh, for example, in kakapo, we may see some uh, translocation patterns, or in budgies, budgeridges, uh, some insertion patterns. And the breakpoint is always in uh, the locus of the CNR2 gene. Interestingly, so uh, next we did the positive selec selection analysis of the CNR1 gene to find out if um, this receptor somehow compensate the function of the CNR2 gene. But we, uh, we uh, had uh, no significant results. Actually, this receptor is very conservative and the uh, amino acid changes uh, doesn't affect uh, the function of it in uh, in parrots so next we uh, question if there is any uh, physiological effect of this gene loss so we made an experiment uh, we uh, with the uh, parrots and uh, passerines we uh, stimulate the immune system of them uh, by intraperitoneal injection of lipopolysaccharides the Passerines, uh, as the passer model passerine, we choose uh, zebra finch, and we also sequence the uh, gDNA and cDNA of uh, of the zebra finches, and we found the functional CNA2 gene. So uh, we, uh, we've uh, after 24 hours of the immune stimulation, we measured uh, by qPCR the expression of EL1 beta. Uh, which is the pro-inflammatory cytokine we choose as a pro-inflammatory marker in several tissues of these uh, animals. Uh, and what we found? We found that in parrots, uh, in parrots' brain is um, very uh, or is much more upregulated expression of EL1 beta uh, than in the zebra finches. And uh, it's possible that uh, it's because uh, they are missing, or the parrots uh, are missing the CNR2, uh, CNR2 gene, because as I forgot to mention, uh, the CNR2 genes are occur occurred also in brain in the microglia, which are basically basically uh, immune cells of of uh, brain. And it's also supported by uh, some uh, some uh, papers, uh, namely the Carmaus et al. 2013, uh, where they inoculated uh, mice with uh, some pathogen, and the mice uh, had knockouted uh, gene for CNR2. And in these mice, were observed uh, much more uh, immunopathologies than in the control ones. Control ones. So it uh, supports the supports the anti-neuroinflammatory effect of the CNR2 receptor. Uh, as a conclusion, uh, we confirm absence of CNR2 gene in parrots, um, and our results suggest that this loss uh, may have some uh, functional effects uh, connected with the role of the CNR2 uh, in the regulation of neuroinflammation. And thanks to this, parrots uh, could be more susceptible to uh, neuroinflammation than the other species, uh, which may uh, also result to some behavior behavioral disorders of these animals. And that is basically thank, uh, all 
from me. Thank you for your attention and also uh, thanks to all the participants on this project. Yeah, and I am, I am ready for your questions. <laughs>